From the very beginning, we set out into an area that none of us had really experienced before. We had to decide what we needed to learn and how quickly we needed to learn it. Designing a project like this is completely different from scientific work in the classroom. STEM is an acronym for Science, Technology, Engineering, and Mathematics. At Middlebury, we adopted the term to show that we were combining those aspects to educate students in the way that science is actually done in the real world. What I think is really unique about STEM is that it's almost entirely self-driven. You understand the why and the application behind information that you're learning instead of just trying to memorize information. Throughout the program, we've been researching the effects of cyanobacteria and how they can be incredibly toxic. We decided that we wanted to develop a water-going vessel that was able to test the water in situ and measure the concentration of cyanobacteria present. It needs to be water resistant, it's on the top, so. Not if it sinks. It's not gonna sink. It's eight students all trying to act as one and accomplish something, which extends beyond just making a boat or doing something sciencey. A large part of the project is learning how to incorporate everybody's end goal ideas into one cohesive idea. I have a much better sense of how broad a spectrum of views can be had on the same thing. The ideas in the beginning are really our own, the final product is ours, and also the successes and failures along the way. And so there's a greater sense of ownership and also a greater sense of practicality. So it's not just a research paper, it's an actual product.